Hey guys, Mike here again. Today I'm gonna to be answering a few of your questions and I'm going to be doing a gas can review. Uh, a little context behind that, we buy gas cans it seems like every year. Uh, the biggest problem with the gas cans is they actually split at the seams and they split uh, on the bottoms quicker. Uh, we move them in and out of the bed of the truck or in and out of the gas can holder on the inside of the enclosed trailer and then they eventually just spring a leak. Um, I buy the gallon, gallon and a quarter ones. We fill them up every morning and mix them every morning. I used to buy the two, two and a half gallon ones, but I just, I, those are just too big to lug around and, you know, we, we go through about a gallon a day. We fill up the trucks in the morning and the mowers, so you might as well just fill up the gas can too. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, one is by Tony. Tony asks, uh, what are the forms of advertising you're doing this year and what is your return? Um, I'm doing advertising in the ballpark of about four thousand dollars. Wow, jeez, you got some advertising going on. I don't spend that much. That's um, I take all my advertising, whether it's business cards, Facebook ads, um, EDDM, which is Every Door Direct Mail, which is our biggest pull. I I stand by that 100%. I've done everything and anything from radio, TV. I mean, anything you name it, I've done it. Um, I've narrowed it down to a couple of different things. A, business cards. Hand three business cards out to everybody you see. Anybody that is remotely interested in what you have to offer, hand them three business cards. One for themselves and two to hand out to anybody else. Um, I do Facebook ads that pinpoint like certain areas and I, I run ads that are um, like, they go with the season. Spring, I do like a core aeration sort of situation with a mulch um, ad. I run a couple of those. Um, every door direct mail big 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 time uh, I think we're we're sending out I think I'm gonna put another order and I think we're gonna probably go for another 20,000 and that will put me um, way ahead this year that's how you grow your business quickly is landscaping and hardscaping the mowing and the plowing those are great they make money but you're gonna really grow your business quickly if you do landscaping and hard like brick pavers learn how to do it right go get certified um, and those, those are ultimately gonna grow your business. You're gonna add more trucks quicker. You're gonna add more crews. I mean, you're gonna have everything going for you and get it to a certain point and then stop. Um, so yeah, you have your business cards, your Facebook ads, every door direct mail. And then I, I try to go to a bunch of like mixers, um, search your area for like um, entrepreneur groups or anything like that, like uh, trades groups. Uh, a couple of them that we go to that are like, uh, like has a lawyer, um, real estate agent, plumber, electrician, uh, one guy's a concrete mason guy, um, I'm the landscaper, and you all kind of, um, it, they're free groups, you just meet, and you meet at a you know restaurant, and you guys have lunch or breakfast or whatever, hand your business cards out, talk shop, business, you know, whatever. Um, and I belong to a bunch of those groups. And so that's how I got bigger, that's how I took what I had with almost absolutely nothing, $5,000, and I turned it into this in uh, less than two years. So if you wanna grow your business real quickly, those are the four things I recommend, is your business cards, every door direct mail, Facebook ads, and then mixer groups. Those are the four main things. Next question's here from uh, Garrett, says, hey Michael, I just wanted to know what enclosed trailers you guys use. It's a good question, it's an easy one. Sort of. The trailers we use are RC Cargo, um, and I'm gonna do a review on our 12-footer. The 18-footers are, those are fine. I We haven't had a problem with those, but the 12-footer, I like the design. I like, aesthetically, I like the diamond plate on the front and everything, but the 12-footer that we have, single axle, I think it's a uh, six by 12, um, the floor in it, the where they're supposed to put like cross members and the floor like um, screws to it, uh, the cross members are like this U-channel crap. And every time we put the zero turn in, take it out, because we put it in like 30, 35 times a day, so it's just in and out. The floor is starting to buckle. And this trailer we've had, I mean, we've only had for like a year and a year and a half maybe. And the floor is already starting to like buckle and I called them and they said that um, that is normal wear 
by the nature of what we do, that is normal wear. So I'm not happy with that at all. Um, I, I literally, I think I, I'm gonna have to fix it. I'm gonna have to like weld some stuff in there, like bracing, because we put that 52 in there anymore, and that floor is just gonna. I mean, it's it literally is like, but it's like that. It's like buckling. So I'm gonna have to do some serious bracing. I'm gonna do a review of the trailer in another video, uh, but. As far as the 18 footers or the, their bigger trailers, they're not bad, but that little 12 footer is like, it's a turd. So um, I wouldn't recommend buying the 12 footer if you're gonna buy anything, buy the double axle and I mean, move up to a 14 or a 16 foot and close. Don't buy this little 12. I, I actually think we're gonna just convert it into our um, irrigation and landscape lighting trailer. That way we're not pulling a mower in and out of that thing. Um, but yeah, good question. Okay, guys, so here's the scoop on this jerry can. Apparently, they made them for the military. They used to make, like, steel versions, um, and now they're, like, a high-impact plastic. It says, uh, EPA-compliant, self-venting spout, child-resistance closure, a gallon and a quarter capacity. These, apparently, it uses the word indestructible. It's snowing. It uses the word indestructible. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, I took the liberty of going and filling it up with water. It's not gas, don't worry. I filled it up with water, and we're going to do some, like, drop tests and throw it in the back of the truck and just, you know, see. Because it... <laughs> this is indestructible? Let's take a look. All right, guys, here's this 1.25 gallon jerry can, supposed to be unbreakable or whatnot. It's got a seam on the bottom, seam on the side. It's where the can comes together. That's usually where this thing breaks. So um, it's got a spout on it. It's that regular, like, safety spout sort of situation that sometimes are a little hard to figure out. I understand the safety features and the safety spout, but sometimes they're a real bugger. Let me show you how indestructible these things actually are. This is how the guys put them in the trucks. Underhand. Overhand. Think fast. Maybe you need to get them from inside the truck out. This thing right here. Let's go take a look. Or maybe, maybe you just want to go bowling. Oh, I've got an idea. There's, there's literally no way. I feel like this thing is just like, this is not, there's no way. Look at this thing. I pulled the I pulled the floor jack out, right? This thing is literally under this tire of this F250. There is what is going on? This is crazy. Okay. This right here is beyond what we would actually do to this gas can. This thing is the baddest gas can I have ever seen. Let's try to destroy it more. Like, okay, literally, literally I thought this was gonna break it. I seriously did. I thought this was the end of it. This thing is sitting under my F-250 tire. Like, there's no tricks. Like, look, the floor jack isn't even on it. 
There's nothing underneath the truck. This the, the truck is on this gas can and it hasn't exploded by the seam. <laughs> yeah. This right. <laughs> All right. This right here <laughs> is the 1.25 gallon jerry can. <laughs> <laughs> that is remarkable. Absolutely. Like, I would pay $50 for this, this can. Literally, if that doesn't break it, I was surprised that the spout didn't, like, pop off. Like, I was hoping that, like, I was hoping that the, like, spout would pop out or something. You know, something to where it was like, okay, well, you know, I mean, it's a good can, but it, you know, the... The, you know, there's weak points. The spout blew off or something like that. This thing was under my F-250 truck tire. I'm buying more of these. The review is over. The, this is it. This is our go-to can. Uh, guys, it's going to be in the description below. Buy yourself one of these. The review's not over. You know that, right? We are literally going to try and destroy this gas can today. I'm serious, guys. This is this is the most ridiculous. Like, look, it's not even dripping from the spout. Nowhere is this leaking. I literally, I was putting the truck down on. I'm like, this is gonna bust at the seams. This thing's gonna be over. You know, I mean, it's a good overall cam, but you know, it doesn't support the weight of an F-250 pickup. Let's try to destroy this thing more. I'm not quite satisfied with that. You may be, but I'm not. I literally, I'll die before this can springs a leak. It's ridiculous. F-250. Okay, so that right there thoroughly impressed me. Um, I, th our biggest issue, we find that we pull the gas cans out of the holders, we fill up the weed whips or the blowers, and then we slide them on the floor. So like the rest of the day they're on the floor, it's just easier to get to and they, you know. So we pull the zeros up in there and we smash the gas cans. We hit them, we do whatever, and it eventually over the course of the season they get worn out and they pop at the seams. This just held the weight of one of our F-250 pickups. Downright, absolutely amazed. So we're gonna run, you know it's not over. It's us. We we're gonna we're gonna break it. Like we have to break it. Or I mean they. This is it, man. We we break it. We gotta break. Oh yeah, you know where this is going. Needless to say, without a doubt, this can right here, the jerry can that is, it looks beat up, but it does not leak a drop of water or fuel when you put a fuel in it, but it does not leak a drop at all. Highly recommend this can. I'm going to put it in a link down below in the description. Go buy yourself a can or two. These things will last forever. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with me today on the gas can review. Um, pleasantly surprised the thing doesn't leak at all after everything I put it through. So go buy yourself one. These things will last a long time. I don't think the abuse that I put it through today I would see in five years. So um, if you like these kind of videos, please like, subscribe, share.